Nucleophilic substitution reactions are used widely in organic synthesis. And Mother Nature has them figured out too. For example, the human body uses two separate SN2 reactions when it makes adrenaline. And when we metabolize nitrites that are used to preserve meat, that process leads to the formation of carcinogenic intermediates that are formed because of an SN1 reaction. So this type of substitution reaction is really important and has been studied very thoroughly. It turns out there are two distinctly different ways the substitution reaction can happen, termed SN1 and SN2 reaction mechanisms, and I'll give you the details of both. There are videos that explain the reaction mechanisms for SN1 and SN2, and the reaction energetics, the kinetics, and the thermodynamics. Because carbocations are key intermediates in the SN1 reaction, there are three videos that are devoted to carbocations, their formation, stability, and rearrangements. Beyond that, there are lectures that talk about leaving groups and solvents in SN1 and SN2 reactions. And I'll also talk about which reaction mechanism actually happens, SN1 or SN2, and how we can tell. And because these reactions are useful in organic synthesis, I'll give you some examples of the use of these reactions, and I'll talk about a special approach to planning organic synthesis. Taken together, these 13 videos will give you a good grasp of nucleophilic substitution.